The truth is out there, my friends, and we've already received some hints. Hundreds of times a year, the phenomena that is crop circles pop up in fields of mainly barley and wheat. And yes, they are still popping up every year. Most recently in July 2020, there was a crop circle that is interpreted as the Knights Templar Cross that popped up in Northern France. Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, so here's the theory. So while Hollywood maybe made it a thing of fiction, crop circles are more common than we believe. And that is the subject of today's video. And I really hope that you will enjoy the information that I've taken. I'm not going to talk too much about the alien theory. I like to go into more rational theories. So uh, let's dive into the theories that I've picked up that you could choose from, um, but also my personal conclusion and what I think crop circles are made from. So let's get the answer out of the way. There are these two guys, Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley, who claimed that they are responsible for hundreds of crop circles popping up in England between 1970 and 1990. So these two men said that the way they created crop circles was by, it, well, it took a lot of planning, of course. These things are huge. They span sometimes acres of land. And a lot of the times they are very precise. The circles are perfect. Everything is aligned perfectly. It's just really so freakishly precise. They would create a blueprint, they would have a nice uh, design in mind, and then they would go out in the middle of the night, they would take a piece of wood, tie some rope to it, and then hold the rope and with their foot on the, on the wood piece would carefully create the patterns and shapes. So normally they're popping up overnight and uh, people just kind of find them in the morning and are like, whoa, what the heck? So these two guys for 20 years were just going off in the middle of the night and creating crop circles and messing up farmer's land. The media went into a frenzy, were super excited about it. They were like, oh yeah, look at this. See, it turns out it's fake. These two guys, they're just a bunch of pranksters. <laughs> it's so funny. So the mystery of crop circles was then clearly solved. It's man-made. These two guys, they're just pranksters. And uh, after that, the mystery was kind of over. Seriologists, people who are dedicating their life's research to the phenomena of crop circles, thought, hey, Dave and Doug, you're full of shit. Seriologists would go and see Doug and Dave do their demonstrations on how they made crop circles. And when the seriologist had a look at the crop, it turned out that what Dave and Doug were doing were snapping and really breaking the crops on their, at the stem very, very harshly. They would be snapped. Whereas in genuine crop circles, it is known that the stems of the crop are very gently folded and not fully broken. It's almost like they're just wilted. Um, it's always on the exact same spot that they're wilted on. And then there's sometimes there's a bit of char around the spot where the crop has bended. That was one of the reasons that seriologists were like, no, this is, they're full of shit. Yeah, they're full of shit. They're full of shit. And another thing is that while Doug and Dave were pretty good at making um, very accurate, well-presented crop circles, um, some of them had some inconsistency, like the lines that were connecting circles. And the crop circles that they were making weren't as interesting or intricate as genuine ones. Either Dave or Doug have actually made a company out of this, have made a business out of making crop circles, and recruited a bunch of kids or people who are crop, crop circle makers and they actually will be hired from companies to put in their logo or whatever into these fields and just as an advertisement or just as a little treat so um, there is definitely still man-made crop circles happening today so let's I want to show you a few pictures of crop circles, although you, maybe you Googled it and you just already has started to take a look. Um, but in 2008, this 150 foot wide crop circle popped out of nowhere in a field of barley in the south of England. And this one is divided into invisible segments and is interpreted as the representation of the first 10 digits of pi. And then here's one representing the solar system, another that represents the eclipse, and one that represents spider webs. Since they've been discovered, crop circles have been the source of a little bit of fear, conspiracy, 
Um, a lot of theories and hoaxes have popped up. A lot of scientific research went into it. However, there is still absolutely no conclusive answer as to what or why or how crop circles are created. And while Dave and Doug want to take all that credit, I'm not giving it to them because I found a theory that uh, is a little more scientific and uh, pretty interesting and has gotten me into some other interesting topics that I want to dive into. But okay, enough. We're only here for crop circles. Across the way from Stonehenge is one of the hot spots for crop circles. There's a big field there across the road from Stonehenge that uh, a lot, uh, yeah, much, much of the crop circles are popping up like these ones. South of England in general is a hot spot. And the reason they think it is such a hot spot is because there are significant landmarks that are connected by ley lines. And ley lines are these invisible lines of energy and water that span all over the world. And uh, Stonehenge is one of those significant spiritual places that a lot of people have gone to for hundreds of years to pray or to hold ceremonies. Like I mentioned before, it's extremely rare that people see crop circles being made in front of them, but there is a story of a taxi driver and she was driving past Stonehenge. And as she was approaching that area, she noticed there were a bunch of cars parked along the side of the road and people who had their backs turned against Stonehenge and their focus seemed to be on the field in front of them. So she decided to pull over and hop out and take a look at what everyone else was looking at. And she was, well, she was in for a surprise. For about 20 minutes, she was hypnotized by this strange water vapor that was about two to three feet off the ground. And it was swirling around and it created a crop circle right in front of them. For this theory, the creation of crop circles can be thought of as embroidery. There's a lot going on below ground as well as above. The mist that they saw appears to be the result of cool water vapor rising from underground water springs that behave in a manner similar to what happens in a lab when electrical discharges are created through water and different patterns emerge on the surface. Given the evidence that crops in genuine crop circles tend to be folded very gently, almost fried, this water vapor um, magnetic pull theory kind of seems a little more real so that would be my conclusion now that we know how how these are made now the question is more why what's up with the metaphors the biomimicry the mathematical equations and sacred geometry why are these things popping up well maths is kind of the universal language and we've discovered so much thanks to these numbers and equations so the fact that there is some mathematical precision made by these crop circles it could just be the universe talking to us through the magnetic pull of the earth a few other weird things that happen around crop circles are animals acting strangely like dogs won't go near them or they start barking um, there's a man who claims that birds who are flying over crop circles they don't fly directly over crop circles but they avoid the, the, the air directly above crop circles. And then there are claims that electronics can be affected if you go into a crop circle. So if you go into one with a fully charged phone and you're in the middle of it, then boom, your battery will be fully drained. People have goosebumps, get very emotional when they're in them. And even some have claimed that their illnesses were cured a few days after visiting a crop circle. Perhaps what happens to humans is a placebo effect and if you go into the crop circle knowing that it has some magical powers of some sort and then you get out of there and, and are cured of your, of your illness, then whether it's a placebo effect or the crop circle's magic, um, doesn't matter. I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really glad that people are able to cure themselves uh, in whatever way shape or form but animals act weird around them and um they have a heck of a lot of intuition just like we do and maybe we're not listening to our intuition as well as animals do crop circles are now becoming a thing that is a tourist attraction a lot of people like to visit them when farmers uh 
have them popping up in their fields and they usually keep them for a few days uh, or weeks and let people come to visit. So is it aliens? Is it water vapor? Is it man-made? Or is it just one big distraction created by government agencies to make us think that there is a greater power or aliens out there and kind of puts us into a, into a box? Whatever it may be, there's still no answer, no real answer to this. And uh, this is just the information that I've found. Of course, if there's any subject in this video that you found interesting that you want to dive, deep dive into, all of my source material is in a link down below in the description bar. I'm curious to know what you think crop circles are made from and uh, if there are any theories that I didn't cover. I very much hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed the information that I've shared. And uh, yeah, please like this video if you want. Uh, hit subscribe and feel free to follow me on my socials. Thanks so much again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!